What's up guys, it's March 3rd, and today feels like the actual first day of spring. It's like almost 60 degrees out here, and um, heading out to the uh, canoe that I've been fishing on right now. Um, on my Instagram, if you guys don't follow it, at iFishLI, I posted a poll for if I should fish the, um, the lake with the canoe, or if I should fish the uh, pond on campus, and the results were 50-50, so I'm going to start out by fishing the, um, the lake with the canoe, and if I don't catch anything, I'll head over to the campus pond, but in this video, I'm, unless something happens, I'm fishing until I catch a fish, so I'll catch you guys back out on the water. It is so nice out here today. I'm so happy it's finally spring. Also on my Instagram, I put a poll up if I should throw the Kai Tech or the Rooster Tail. You guys voted for the Kai Tech, so I'm starting out with the Kai Tech. This doesn't work, of course I'll have to change, but starting out with the Kai Tech. I think there's a pretty good chance I could get bit by a picker on this, maybe even a bass or hopefully a pike because that would be a new species. Alright, so we're going to get the canoe in the water and then start fishing. All right, now that I'm out on the water, I'm gonna take a few casts in these like shallow, flatty areas because since it's sunny, the fish might be coming up shallow to warm up right now. And uh, there's a good chance that I could catch some fish over here. I was gonna say that I don't think you guys understand how happy I am that it's spring. There's so much coming up in spring. There's gonna be the striper run, the blue fish run, and just fishing is going to get so much better here and I'm going to be able to come out on the canoe much more often and just be in a better mood but you guys probably are all fishermen and understand exactly what I mean by that so you would understand my guess is going to be that pickle are going to be moving up shallow right around the time that they're spawning. I could get slammed by some pickle right now. I'm still gonna reel it relatively slow because I'm assuming that the, um, the water's still kinda cold. So I'll start out kinda slow. Pickle sees this, probably gonna slam it. The water's still really, really cold. He's just like, I mean, there have been some other warm days, but yesterday was pretty cold. This weekend was very cold. There's ice on the, on this lake, like two weeks ago. And there probably was this weekend too, because it was very cold. So the fish are still gonna be pretty lethargic. So. Working this bait slow would not be a bad idea. Right here at the mouth of the river now. Still gonna work it slow. There's a lot of dead weeds around this spot.
that fish. It's a nice bass. It's a nice bass. I won't lose this guy. That's a good bass. I just shook off my kayak. Damn. It's a really nice bass. He hit it really soft. Oh, no, he did. Yes. Let's go. It's my first fish of Marsh. That's like a pretty nice bass. He's really fat, too, and healthy. I don't know if I have my scale with me. That's an awesome bass. I'm gonna check really quick if I have the scale with me. I wanna get him back in the water pretty quick though. I have the scale with me, but I have this MPB box. Let's, let's check if he is an MTB, MTB keeper. So a bass has to be 14 inches to be an MTB keeper. This guy, this guy is just about 16 inches. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna get a picture of this and get him back in the water. All right, we're gonna get him back in the water now. He was not out for too long at all. I'm gonna revive him a little bit. He kicked off really good. All right, guys, that felt really good to catch. That's my first fish in a really long time. Right now, the wind is blowing me across the lake, so I'm gonna have to paddle back over to where I caught the fish. But, um, yeah, I caught that on the, um, the Kitek Swim Impact Fat, and he fought really good. He was good, like, 16-inch bass, so that is considered an MTB, uh, an MTB keeper. I'm so hyped about that. I'm really happy to finally caught a fish for uh, YouTube for you guys, and I'm gonna keep fishing. Hopefully, I can get another. He messed up. That was the last Kitek of that kind that I had, so I'm gonna have to throw something else. But I'm sure I have some sort of good bait in my bag that I could throw. All right, let's get back to fishing. All right, I switched over to the Zoom Flappin' Fluke, so it's just like a Zoom Fluke with a paddle tail. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the Kitek, but it should get the job done. Also, it's pretty much the same colorway. I'm um, gonna take a few casts over here and then head back over to the mouth of the river. Uh, that bass was laying in some pads as I pulled through the, uh, pulled the uh, weedless uh, swim bait through the pads and he just hit it, kind of soft, but um, fought pretty good. So we're gonna see if there's anything lurking in these weeds over here. And this is kind of a shallow flat over on this side of the lake. So hopefully the rest of the fish are up shallow too, just like that other one was that I caught over there. I have a feeling that this oh shoot. I have a feeling that the bass are gonna be up in these weeds. fish just hit me right there. Hopefully he will come back. Oh, he's right there, right at the boat. If it's a pickerel, he'll probably come back. Damn it. I don't know what that was. It felt really heavy. I tied on this um, lipless crankbait in like a red craw color. Last time I threw this, it picked up too much weeds, but I'm probably gonna fish it a little faster this time since it's warmer. But um, we'll see. You might have to go back to the Kitek and move spots, but I haven't caught anything in a while. This is picking up way too much weeds. Time to go back to the Kitek. All right, so I haven't had a bite since, like, I was fishing at the mouth of the river. Now I'm like 
just barely into the river. Mouth is all the way over there. So I don't know if I should continue into the river or go back to the, the like the very front. Um, I think I might just go all the way down to the beaver dam, fish around in there, and then come back to the mouth if I don't get anything over there. So, all right, yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. So there's a huge pile of sticks back there. I don't know if that's like the beaver, their like their home or something. But and then up here, the whole uh, river is blocked off. I've showed this in previous videos, but I've never seen the beaver here. Uh, my friend said he saw it here once when he was fishing. Um, so I'm not really sure. I mean, I don't know too much about beavers, but I just spooked something. Hopefully it wasn't, hopefully it was a fish. I think this is incredible that a animal can make this. I, looks like there's something stacked up underneath the thing. Hold on. Here's a fish. Here's a bass spitting. God damn it. Keep their light. They're barely tapping this lure. I gotta set the hook harder, I guess. What's up, guys? My GoPro just died, so this is gonna be the end of the video. Thank you guys all for watching, and thank you all for who participated in the polls on my Instagram. Um, it paid off listening to you guys. I fished the canoe. And um, even though that was 50-50 at the time when I went to uh, check it, I um, fished the canoe and I fished with the Kai Tech that you guys told me to fish with and it paid off. I caught a decent 16 inch bass. So I'm gonna do those polls more often. So follow my Instagram at Instagram at iFishLI and um, participate in all the polls I post and you guys will get to see some behind the scenes footage that you wouldn't normally see just on my Someone just jumped. that you wouldn't normally see on my um, YouTube channel but yeah so also comment down below if you want me to fish on the canoe again if I go fishing this week again or at the campus pond that I've fished at in the past um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. The spring is coming really fast, and there's going to be tons more great videos coming since I'm going to be able to catch much more fish in the spring. So, yeah, also comment down below what you guys want to see me do in the spring. Thank you guys for watching again. Oh, and one last thing I wanted to mention was that that was my first MPB Keeper Bass that I've recorded. So that's a pretty cool accomplishment of mine that I achieved in this video. So i um, happy to say that I was finally able to catch my first MTB Keeper. Actually, this was my first MTB Keeper of any species, so that's pretty cool. Um, and check out the all my MTB unboxings and... Um, uh, the MTB box for uh, March should be coming in soon.